The Amp L100 is a five gang reel mower with a 100 inch width of cut and five individual cutting units that are each 22 inches wide with their own individual direct drive electric motors so that you can keep and maintain frequency of clip between all five cutting units no matter how fast the machine's going. We also have front and rear lift that are independently controlled with high precision electric servo motors to allow you to lift your front cutting units and your rear cutting units independently so that you can lift in the same point as you go and you make your turns in the rough before coming back into the fairway to drop the cutting units and continue mowing. As you can see on this cutting unit, all of the critical components are high precision CNC machine components to really, really, really tight tolerances to make sure that the entire cutting unit is extremely square and precise in its manufacturing. It was also really important to us at Firefly that all of the critical components on this cutting unit be manufactured here at Firefly so we could not only ensure that you're getting the ultimate quality product, but also that our parts team can have parts on the shelf stocked and ready to go. We spent a lot of time engineering this system to make sure that this knob is a really, really high quality adjustment and every click is a really good feeling detent that's also giving you a really precise and consistent adjustment to your reel and your bed knife gap. If you listen carefully, you can actually hear the clicks and feel how good and solid that adjustment is. We put a lot of priority into making sure that you could make really fine tune adjustments to your height of cut in the field to make sure that all five cutting units are cutting level, giving you a really good after cut appearance. And that's really difficult to do with other cutting units without risking getting your bed knife out of square with your rollers. The first thing we did was we made our height of cut adjustment really, really simple. You've got your front height of cut adjustment. You've got different notches you can put that in. And we've got a chart that explains which notch you want this in to correlate with the height of cut that you want and the bed knife attitude that you want. Now, at shorter heights of cut, too much aggressiveness or too much attitude, that can scalp your turf. That's why we made our cutting unit to adjust the height of cut for fine tune adjustments in the back so that as I lower my height of cut, my bed knife attitude gets less aggressive so that you don't have to also change the position of your front height of cut. Now we're gonna focus on the bed knife gap adjustment. And this is probably the most important adjustment on the entire cutting unit because your bed knife gap is basically what determines whether or not you're going to be cutting grass. While it's spinning backwards, I'm just gonna start advancing one click on each one. We chose to move our reel closer to our bed knife, not our bed knife closer to our reel. So that adjustments to that bed knife gap over time as your reel shrinks don't also affect the bed knife attitude because that bed knife is staying in the same place all the time. And it's also not affecting your height of cut by moving the bed knife up or down as your reel gets smaller. Being able to maintain that gap to be really tight or even have light contact is really important for a really nice high quality cut. Kind of sounds like a few blades are touching, but it still kind of sounds like it's pulsing. I'm gonna just back off one from there and leave it like that, and then I'm gonna do the other side. Now, designing a cutting unit that maintains that bed knife gap in all conditions is only half of the equation because a bed knife gap is only as good as the person setting it. And so if uh, setting your bed knife gap is difficult and your users aren't setting your bed knife gap as frequently or as precisely as they need to, then you're not gonna have the quality of cut that you want, which is why we put a lot of focus on making sure that setting that bed knife gap was not only consistent, but precise and easy to use, which is why our bed knife gap can be set with the simple turn of a knob with your hands no tools are needed to set this bed knife gap. And by just doing this, I can move my reel closer to my bed knife by a half a thousandth of an inch. Reel blade and your bed knife gets above three thousandths of an inch, you will not be cutting grass. Now maintaining that gap to be three thousandths of an inch is really, really quite difficult unless you have properly machined parts that are high precision manufactured to make sure that you don't have any uh, backlash in any of the joints that could allow your reel or your bed knife to move as the cutting unit bounces through the ground. We put a lot of effort into reducing backlash in all of the joints of this cutting unit adjustment to make sure that that reel is in a solid spot all the time and that gap is not fluctuating as the cutting unit goes through the ground. Another thing users are gonna find interesting about our machine and our cutting units is that because there's no noise on the machine and it's super, super quiet, any inconsistencies or problems with the way that the cutting units are adjusted in terms of the reel and the bed knife, if there's too much contact, there's not enough contact, you're gonna hear it immediately. And that's not something you can do on traditional machinery when you have a diesel engine making a ton of noise and all these vibrations on the machine. 
Maintaining frequency of clip on the AMP L100 is really easy because we have really high precise control over the speed control for our cutting unit motors. It was custom developed for AMP L100 and we developed it to have 20% more power and torque than any other electric cutting unit on the market so that no matter how fast the machine is going, we can control the speed of the cutting unit motors to make sure your frequency of clip stays consistent. It was also important that we designed this motor to be a direct drive motor, which means there's no gearbox or belt drive between the motor and your reel. That makes sure that we have less vibration, fewer moving parts, less sound and a longer life on this motor than other motors that might have a gearbox or a belt drive. I think what allows Firefly to do things like this and really innovate is that we're not restricted to legacy technology or legacy designs that other companies have invested in in terms of tooling and manufacturing and things like that. We really did have the freedom to start from scratch and really take a look at the entire cutting unit and say, what can we do better? At the end of the day, we did not want to be a company that just designed an autonomous mower that was good at autonomy but not good at mowing. We wanted to make the best mower on the market. And so that's why we've spent an extensive amount of engineering to design what we think is a premium quality cutting unit, developed and manufactured with the highest precision manufacturing available to give users the ultimate quality of cut. Stay at the forefront of turf innovation. Sign up with your email to receive the latest updates on electric autonomous mowers and insights from industry leaders delivered right to your inbox. 